Greetings gamers, it is Put McGee here back with another Magic the Gathering video and today we're going to be doing a ranked draft from Theros Beyond and I have played the only limited experience I have in uh, Theros Beyond so far, or Theros Beyond Death I mean so far, has been in Sealed. I did one Sealed event and it went um, kind of meh. I think I went like 3-3 three and three or something like that. I can't remember exactly but uh, this draft is quite different and so let's uh, see what we get. Okay, so our first rare is Thrix the Sudden Storms 5 mana blue flash flying and spells you cast for mana cost five or greater cost one less to cast and can't be countered so he's very strong right um very good very good creature um you know like just a, a big flyer uh the only the only issue with taking thrix is that it could potentially be difficult to cast if i play um multiple colors but i think i'm going to take him i think there's you know there's not I don't know what else I would do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's take Thrix. Um, one second, let me figure something out here real quick. Okay, okay, we're good. Just wanted to make sure my, my OBS was set up right. All right, okay, so next uh, next stuff. So here of the Nixborn is actually quite good as well. Um, it's enchantment synergy creates a 1-1 one, one white token and then gives buffs when you target here of the Nixborn with spells. Uh, the only issue again is that it, it costs two color. It is two colors, um, but it's quite good. Uh, you know, it's it's two two creatures for one spell. And if we're playing other enchantment synergies, this is quite good. Um, commanding presence is also pretty good. Uh, it's just a very good aura. Um, anything else that like stands out? There's not a bomb in this, I don't think. Here, the next one can, could be kind of a bomb, but it's not like you know, it's not Siona. I don't think it's as good as Siona, but we're gonna take care of the next one here just because it seems like the best card in there. There is another one here, so we could start going toward like a Boros enchantment thing, but let's look at Warden of the Chained. So it's a 4 4 trample when it uh, Warden of the Chained can't attack unless you control another creature with power 4 or greater. So it's a 4 4 for, with trample for 3, which is great. Um, it's really, really good value. Um, we also have Farika's Spawn, which isn't bad. Definitely not bad at all. Um, we don't really have any removal, except, I mean, this kind of is removal. Um, Devotion to Black removal, though. I think we go another Hero of the Nextborn and start maybe building around that. Um, we also have Calafay, Beloved of the Sea, which works very well with Thrix the Sudden Storm. Calafay's power is equal to your Devotion to Blue. And then creatures and enchantments you control have spells your opponents cast that target this permanent cost one more to cast. So it helps protect our stuff and um, could potentially be quite powerful. Even, you know, even without um, like a lot of blue in our deck, this is going to come in as a 2-3 with an upside. So it's really not bad at all. Um, I think that's probably what we take. And again, it's an enchantment creature, so um, that's pretty helpful. We have Scuffos Maze Warden as another uncommon. 3-4 four for 4. And you can spend one to give it plus one, minus one, and whenever another creature becomes a target of ability of a land you control, named Labyrinth of Scophos, you may have Scophos, Maze Warden, fight that creature. Okay, so uh, this is synergy with um, the Labyrinth land, which, I mean, we would be lucky to find, honestly. Um, but we could go, Chain to Memory actually seems oh, not terrible, but like okay. Um, as a combat trick, but I think Scofos Maze Warden is the best card. We need some stuff, um, which we, we need creatures. Um, and, and if we potentially get the Labyrinth, this is very, very, very good. So let's uh, let's just take Scofos now and kind of see what comes up. Okay, Final Flare is a little cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Final Flare deals five damage to target creature. It's very good removal. Um, Nixborn Corsair is also okay, but I think we take removal here. Uh, we're definitely lacking that so far. Incendiary Oracle, um, that's quite good for two, uh, two mana, it's a 2-2 two -two with a potential mana sink and sort of an upside, it exiles creatures which is um, potentially very good since escape is a mechanic here, um, but Vexing Gull is also quite good, 2-2 um, two -two flyer for 3 with flash is, is really solid and we can kind of build around flash a little bit, um, so I think I'm going to take Vexing Gull here. Um, Slaughter Priest of Mogus. Uh, doesn't really fit with stuff we've got, but it may be the best card here. Um, the Thrill of Possibility is super, super good. Um, let's look at Slaughter Priest of Mogus. Also, Dawn Evangel is not terrible, but it also... So the thing is, um, it, it only returns target creatures with converted mana cost 2 or less, 
and currently we don't have any of those. That's something we're gonna have to fix, obviously, um, to fix our curve, but um, could be okay. I, from playing with it, it's been it's been kind of meh, um, unless you're building around it. Um, Slaughter Priest of Mogus is eh. Um, I think we'll pass on that and maybe just take Indomitable Will. Indomitable Will could be quite good um, as a flash enchant. Um, and if we're playing white here, the next born, um, that's a very good combo with that. So we'll take Indomitable Will right here. Um, another Dawn Evangel, or we can go Transcendent Envoy. Let's see. As long as it's not your turn spells, you cast cost one less to cast. That makes uh, Vexing Gull and Thrix very good, as well as Indomitable Will. So I think we take Nye out of the Hidden Coves. Um, Transcendent Envoy is kind of disappointing. Uh, it's just not that good. You have to play a lot of auras to really make this worth it. And I think this is just better. This makes the one aura we have so far, um, you know, cost one less to cast. And it helps us cast Thrix and Vex and Gull for cheaper. So let's do that. Enemy of Enlightenment, Unknown Shores. Uh, Unknown Shores could be important. Um, Flash Defender, Riptide Turtle. This could be okay as well. Probably better than Unknown Shores. And I'm not going to take Enemy of, Enlight of Enlightenment right now. <laughs> Um, the enemy, uh, enemy of Enlightenment isn't bad, but um, I think we take Riptide Turtle just because it fits with the colors and strategies we're sort of playing so far. Um, Starlit Mantle is really good with what we've got, so let's take that. Um, Triton Wave Rider, whenever, Enchantment News Battlefield Under Control, Triton Wave Rider against Flying, that's quite good. Um, quite good for what we've got so far. Yeah, we'll take that. So it looks like we're sort of playing, like, um, potentially... We may have to cut here over the Nyxborns um, unless we get some mana fixing. So let's take Chain of Memory now. And then Eidolon of Philosophy. We'll probably end up cutting that later. Ashiox Eraser. Erasure. Um, this is not a great rare for limited. Uh, hmm. But this is not a also not a great uh, like a great pack. Ashiox Erasure, so Exile Target Spell, your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the Exile Card. So, so that bonus is not great in Limited. Um, the only thing I like about this is that it's A, an enchantment, and uh, it, we can flash it in and Triton Wave Rider, not Triton Wave Rider, uh, Nyad of Hidden Coves makes it cheaper, so it's essentially a three mana counter spell that says your opponent can't cast spells with the same, uh, with the same name. Uh, it's not the worst thing, but it's also not great. Uh, what is that? Stern Dismissal. Return target. Okay, it's just a bounce. None of this is particularly great. Um, Lagona, Lagona Band Storyteller is actually pretty good. Um, we can return an enchantment card from our graveyard on top of our library, and that helps us with a lot of these, like um, our Here of the Nyxborn and Caliphae and stuff like that. So I think we'd go this over Daxos, though Daxos isn't bad. Sorry, I'm having some sniffles right now. Um, Anax could potentially be really, really solid. Um, it's not like it's not perfect, but it's it's all right. Uh, Witness of Tomorrow's is possibly better, just considering what we have, because Anax is never going to be super strong with with this deck, um, and we may end up not even playing. Well, it's yet to be seen, but I think the better choice here is Witness of Tomorrow's. It's just a strong flyer and has a scry ability. Now, Shimmering Chimera at the beginning of your upkeep, return up to one other enchantment you control to its owner's hand. Um, so that's an option to bounce things back, which is really good. But I think Eidolon of Obstruction um, is w just a little bit better. Um, it's, you know, it, it brings our curve down a little bit. Um, it's a nice first striker. And if our opponents have Planeswalkers, it's it's nice against those, though. Um, we do just have, this is a good pack, right? So we've got Eidolon of Obstruction, which is, which is pretty decent. Um, it's kind of a weak rare, uh, but it's pretty good. Shimmerling Chimera is also great. Um, 3-2 flyer for a 4 and has bounce ability. And then Dreadful Apathy is uh, is quite good as well. <sighs> Let's think about this. Um, I think we take Eidolon just because our curve it needs to be a little bit lower. So let's do that. Okay. Fateful End deals 3 damage to any target. That's really, really solid. Great removal. But we could go uh, Dreadful Apathy. <sighs> I think though this is instant speed, instant speed three damage, and we get a scry off of it. it seems really, really good. Um, and we also can cast this for two with um, Nye out of Hidden Coves. So I'm thinking we just take this because we need more removal. 
Now let's see. Stinging Lionfish, Enchantment Creature. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, you may tap or untap target non land permanent. That's really, really, really good for us. So let's take that. So it looks like we're headed toward a flash, flash sort of deal. Um, if we were going to cut something, Triumphant Surge is really solid. Um, so the thing is, we really need to be running three colors, um, but we're gonna have to make it. We're gonna have to get there. So I gotta be looking out for um, for mana fixing. Uh, whether it's we just passed one up, but that's fine. Uh, important portrayal. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. Okay. Stern dismissal is a return. Next born sea guard is kind of meh. Uh, all of these cards are kind of meh. But let's let's um eh eh it's not the worst thing ever. Let's take stern dismissal. Ooh, mischievous chimera. There we go. Two two flyer. Whenever you cast your first spell during each turn, mischievous chimera deals one damage to each opponent. That is really solid for what we've got. Uh, Omen of the sea is also pretty pretty dang good. Um. But I think we take Mischievous Chimera. It's just really, really great for what we've got. And then Unknown Shores is seems like a must right now just because um, just because of what we got. We could take a counter spell, but it seems like not the greatest choice. Um, Oread of Mountain's Blaze is okay. We could take a counter spell. Um, <laughs> But it's just four four mana for a counter spell seems rough. The only way this is okay is if we have a Nyad of Hidden Coves. And the chances like we're just not gonna get that very often. I think we just take Ori out of Mountain's Blaze. Um Nixborn Courser is decent. Um again, four mana counter spell. We'll take Nixborn, but may end up cutting that just because the mana like the casting cost is a little bit rough. Um none of these are great. Um but let's take let's take Escape Velocity. Mm, sweet Oblivion, Sorcery, Target Player, Exile, okay. So we could mill with this, but um, it just doesn't seem doesn't seem that great. Um, so we'll take Nixborn Seaguard, potentially cut that as well. Thrill of Possibility is very solid for us. Um, okay, so we need to be on the lookout for mana fixing and um, important flash spells. So Vex and Gull is okay. Um, Threnody Singer is better. Flash Flying, when it enters battle with target creature and opponent controls, gets minus X, minus zero until end of turn, where X is your devotion to blue. Um, Underworld Breach uh, seems bad for this deck. Um, I think Threnody Singer is better. The Thirst for Meaning is, is actually okay. Um, yeah, I think we take this. It's a Flash Flyer for two, and it gives us a little upside. Okay, Entrancing Wire. What is this? You may choose not to untap Entrancing Wire during your untap step. Oh, Entrancing Wire is quite good. Uh, solid removal. Uh, we can cast it for whatever mana we get, so I think we take that. It's just good removal. Sea God's Scorn. Return up to three target creatures and or enchantments to their owner's hand. Okay, that's not bad. That another Vexing Gull, another Omen of the Sea. I think we take Omen of the Sea. This, um, you know, we can flash it in. Scry 2, then draw a card is, is pretty good. Um, that's gonna help us get the stuff we need. And now, Metamize Prophecy. Um, sorry, this one. Uh, scry 2, choose a card name when you cast a spell with the chosen name for the first time this turn. Um, draw two cards. Okay, that's solid. And then you look at the top card of each player's library. Okay, so we Scry 2, then essentially we're gonna be drawing cards later on. So, um, I think we take that. It's not bad at all. Chain to Memory. So, ooh, Arena Trickster. Aria Trickster is actually pretty good for what we're doing. Um, yeah, I kind of think we play this. We may end up cutting it, but I'm going to take it. Um, so, so much for mana fixing. Uh, Unknown Shores could work. Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty good for us. We're going to take that. We need more removal. Oh, Nyad of Hidden Coves. That's solid. Okay, we take that too. And then, any of these good? Brian Giant um, actually seems really good. Um, like, or we're, the only way this doesn't cost seven, like the only way this ever costs seven is if we 
been board wiped or something, which is just not going to happen. So I think we take Brian Giant. We may end up cutting it, but seems pretty solid. Okay. Arena Trickster or Nye Out of Hidden Coves? Nye Out of Hidden Coves is great. It's an enchantment creature for three. It's a 2 3. Blue Devotion. Um, Arena Trickster is solid as well. Because we don't have a ton of flash payoffs right now. Um, taking another Arena Trickster would be pretty pretty good. Uh, and we have two Nye Out of Hidden Coves. And more, having more than one on the board ever is not going to be very good. So I think we take Arena Trickster actually. Um, it's pretty solid. We'll take Nyxborn Seagor, Seaguard and uh, do that to it. Vexing Gull. Yeah, baby. Okay. Seaguard Scorn is kind of meh. I think Vexing Gull is the way. The way, the truth, and the life. Okay. Yep. That's a counterspell that we can actually play. Um, Chain to Memory is fine. And then another Nyxborn Seaguard because that's a bad card. All right, we are about to uh, cut this deck down and then get into some play with it. Let's look at the deck if we just cut out all of our white cards and try to cut it to two mana colors. So uh, let's go dupe, 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 duped, and duped. Okay, we now have 48 cards in our deck. Um, what did we lose? We lost Eidolon of Obstruction, which is a pretty good card. Uh, we lost Lagana Band Storyteller, which is a pretty good card. Um, Indomitable Will is okay, and then Triumphant Surge is the biggest loss, I think, if we cut out white entirely. Um, uh, Hero of the Nextborn is also a pretty big loss. Hero of the Nextborn is quite good. Um, but, I mean, honestly, like, we have we have Flash payoffs with Arena Trickster, and we have Enablers for Flash, which is Nigh out of Hidden Coves. Um, and we also have a lot of Flash spells. It just seems like this is probably the way to go. Um... Yeah, I, I'm okay. Let's see what we can cut out. Here from Nyxborn is kind of rough to not have in the deck, but also it, we weren't really building around it, uh, so I think this is fine. Uh, let's go. Okay, let's cut some stuff. Um, Kneeborn, Kneeborn, uh, Nyxborn Seaguard uh, is gonna go. I think Scophos is gonna go. It's like fine, but we also don't have the Labyrinth, um, and we need. You know, our four mana, and this is probably, these are probably going to be, um, you know, next up. So let's keep Vexing Gulls. Flash is great. Calife is great. Um, deny the Divine. Counter target creature or enchantment spell. And then you exile it. That's going to be solid. I think we want to keep that in. Um, Ichthyomorphosis. Ichthyomorphosis is pretty good. I like that art. That's a very cute little, little fish man. Fateful End is great. Final Flare is great. Entrancing Liar is great. Okay, now what? So, Starlit Mantle is actually pretty good. Um, plus one, plus one, flashing enchantment, and it gives Hexproof for a turn is good. Um, Metamized Prophecy is good. I think Oread is weak. Um, Stinging Linefish is great. Riptide Turtle is pretty weak, though it is it has flash, but um, I think we're going to cut Riptide Turtle for now. And then cut Eidolon of Philosophy. We could just cut everything down here, but I think, I mean, um, Stern Dismissal is pretty weak, but Chain to Memory is is better, I think. It just kind of gives us, it buys us some time um, to get our, you know, get our stuff going. Uh, do we really need all of this? Also, we probably don't need Unknown Shores. Um, if we're only playing two colors. Brian Giant actually seems kind of weak. Uh, it's a 5-6, which is good. Um, but it doesn't do anything for us other than being just kind of a big body that we can probably cast for six mana, which is not even that great. Um, let's cut Brian Giant. And then still like Vexing Gull. I definitely like Triton Wavefinder because um, it's another flyer that could potentially win us the game. And then what is weak down here? Mischievous Chimera is really, really good. Um, so, so flash payoff, Mischievous Chimera. Um, another flash payoff here. We tap or untap target element permanent. And then this is also another flash payoff. And these are flash enablers, so we definitely have to have those. Calife is quite good, it protects us. Um, removal, 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 removal. All decent. Um, maybe we just cut one chain to memory because it's kind of weak, I think. Um, but all of these, like flash, I like all of the flash stuff. It's all good. Okay. Let's let's jump into uh, let's jump into this baby. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. We're only like 20 minutes into this video. That's it. That's all it took to draft this deck was 20 minutes. Ah, uh, yeah. We're going all the way though. So this is going to be like a two hour long video. Two hour long video going all the way. Oh, also the season just reset so I got dropped to bronze. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, let's do this. This is, this is really nice. Okay. We get Stinging Lionfish like immediately. Um, let's just play that. And then Chain to Memory gets held up. Okay. Let's do Stinging Lionfish. So we can play Naiad of Hidden Coves next turn. The, the one thing I think I'm worried about this with this deck is that we don't have a ton of removal and we also don't have like a lot of payoffs. Um, okay, here's what we can do. Um, Meyer Triton is good. Um, we could attack and chain to memory um, and kill it. Or we can just play Night of Hidden Coves, so I think is what we do. This just enables a lot more. Um, no attacks. I think I want to keep Stinging Lionfish. This is a payoff that we need. Um, so now, Thrill of Possibility and Fateful End are both cheaper on their turn. And looks like Nyad is going to die now. That's unfortunate. Oh, nope. Doesn't die. That's good. Quite solid. Okay, fateful end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Hmm. We don't. Hmm. 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 Uh. Okay. Yeah, let's pass. Um, but I'm gonna put a stop on their upkeep. So, well, dang it. Okay. Whatever. Um, what I wanted to do is do this, kill that, tap Meyer Triton. And I'm guessing they sacrificed Soul Reaper of Mogus um, before Fateful End actually connects. Uh huh. Yep. And then we don't do any damage, but that's fine. So we pass to draw. They probably can't play anything this turn, which is what I wanted. So it allows us to, yeah, basically it just allows us to attack now. Ooh, now we have a counter spell. All right, let's do that and end the turn. Yeah, we'll counter that. Tap Meyer Triton. Uh, two mana counter spells, baby. Love them. Soul Reaper of Mogus. Uh, we'll resolve that. That's fine. Dang, that's a bummer. Um, let's pass. Um, I can throw the possibility and discard the mountain here. Probably our best bet. They have four cards in hand. I would love to draw Thrix right now. That would be great. Ooh, huh. It doesn't have haste though. But Underworld Rage Hound is pretty strong. What are they about to play? It looks like they're gonna play like a, what, what could they have? Um, okay, that's not what I was expecting, but that's fine. I was thinking an enchantment. Okay, before I pass to attackers, we're gonna go through the possibility so that we tap um, Meyer Triton. 
We draw Vex and Gull. Ooh. Ooh, -ho -ho, baby. Uh, and then we'll pass two attackers. Okay, interesting. Um, so we'll go ahead and play um, Vex and Gull, and then go to my turn. And now we can actually attack. Oh, also we have Entrancing Wire. That's awesome. Okay, great news. We will attack. Uh, we could play Entrancing Wire now, and then just tap down under Underworld Rage Hound. I think we just play it and we don't tap anything down yet. We wait to potentially play um, Threnody Singer on their turn, um, but we because we can also tap them down on their turn, like with Entrancing Wire. You got P1X31. You're gonna try to kill my gull. So they have a lot of like abilities they can do. They can sack a creature. Dream Shaper Shaman. If you name your instep, you may pay three and sacrifice an permanent. If you do, your non permanent card, you can put this. Okay. Um Yeah, I'll resolve that. We'll go to combat. So we could we can combat trick him here with Threnody Singer. Actually, we can oh we can only do one. Dang, I should have kept up two blue mana. <laughs> yeah, why not? We'll tap that. Then we block and kill, baby. Um, do they have a? No, they don't have a one-mana creature, so we can't use Entrancing Liar, but that's fine. Ooh, Final Flare. Sadly, we don't really have anything we're going to want to sacrifice, but we can just do this anyway. Hmm. The reason I was playing Final Flare in, in the first place was kind of for Nyx... Not, um, what was it? Nyxborn Hero? Or Hero... Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Nyxborn Hero, the red and white enchantment creature that makes a creature token. So it's like, oh, we're going to have some creature tokens. We can Final Flare that way. But this is a bit of a bummer. But we could probably sacrifice Threnody Singer to kill Dream Shaper Shaman. But I also don't want to cast it and have them just sack it to Soul Reaper of Mogus. Because that's just kind of a bummer. It's too, yeah, it's also too, too, like, too high of mana cost to Entrancing Liar it. Okay, pass to Attackers. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. I mean, we can take damage. I haven't taken, we haven't taken damage all game, and we can definitely just take damage. Oh, they pass to in step. Okay. Um, I'm going to spin mana to one, two, three. One, two. Tap Meyer Triton. They're probably going to sacrifice Meyer Triton now, which is okay. Um, it's pretty fine with me. Maybe I should have resolved that first. So they're being selective with their mana cost there, um, which is, that's a little scary because that usually means they have a, sp a spell in hand that they're like making sure they can cast. What are you, who are you sacrificing? Are you sacrificing something? Why? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, they take Meyer's Grasp, right? My, Myers Grasp. It's like Myers Myers Briggs. Myers Briggs. 
Does it have flash? Wait, what? What did they just do? To put that card on the battlefield and the rest on the bottom. What? I'm very confused, but okay. Uh, go to my turn. Decline. Great, 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 great. Another Vexing Gull. Sweet. Wait a second. Where did my Nyad go? Did I just miss something? What happened? Did I just miss that interaction completely? Yeah, I did. Okay. It like didn't show for some reason. Maybe I just wasn't watching and they definitely killed my uh, Nyad, which which is fine. That was going to happen, but that's good. Okay. Whatever. Um... Yeah, in turns, we have Vexing Gull to kind of uh, keep them at bay a little bit. I'm a little surprised they didn't attack with Dream Shaper Shaman last turn, um, but I guess they wa were afraid I would double block it. Okay. We will now target you, sacrifice you. And resolve. Oh darn it. That means I can't cast Vexing Gull now. Dang it, I needed my I needed this Nyad of Hidden Coves. I needed you. I'm expecting um this to escape. Oh man, that sucks. Cause now they can just sacrifice it. Before they go to attackers, I will minus for you, tap you, and then I get to scry, which is really the reason for doing this. I'm assuming they just sacrifice Vex and Gull, um, which is a bummer. It's definitely a bummer. Oh no, I should have done that the other way around. I should have minus four that. Oh crap, okay. Whatever, it turned out okay in the end. Um, Scry to, ooh, Arena Trickster and Triton Wave Rider. Both are good, I think we want Arena Trickster on top, though. Yes, we definitely want to untap you. We will go Arena Trickster and then uh, pass. So the good thing about them, if they spend four mana to escape Underworld Ragehound, we can still tap it down with just two mana from Entrancing Liar, which is great. Mm. Yep, there they go. There they go. We can't do it this turn, but we can definitely do it on our next turn. Uh, we resolve that. Scofos Maze Warden. That's a little bit scary. Okay, go to my turn. All right, I forgot I have this. Um, I think we will go ahead and tap down though. So we go dupe. Wait, what? Wait, you must cast. We can... Tap target creature with power. Oh, it's power extra less. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. Oh, I thought it was mana cost. Oh, I, okay. I'm stupid. Um, yeah, sure. That's fine. No attacks. In turn. That's a bit unfortunate. What we could do is... Flash in Vexing Gull. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. We're going to flash in Vexing Gull. They may be baiting me here. Um, I 
I could block Underworld Rage Hound with Vexing Goal, but I think we actually keep. We just do this. We block there. Um, they could be baiting me into something here, but I don't think they. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oops. Yeah. Okay. They def They were baiting me into that, um, and I. I oops that. That was stupid. Big big oops from me. I shouldn't have done that because uh, yeah, forgot about that ability. Which is why Scuffless Maze Warden is good. Ooh, another Underworld Rage Hound. Fancy. Decline. It'll just attack. All right, now we just gotta outpace him. So we go Triton Wavefinder. And then if we get an enchantment, that would be lovely. Let's see, uh, they have seven damage on the attack. So I'll go to nine and then I can survive one more turn. Dang, blocking with Arena Trickster there was uh, a shame. Really? So they're drawing a card, they could, yeah, they can draw a card and then escape it on this turn. Um, but they also don't get that attack damage. They must be digging for something. Let's just mm, sorry, that's the that's what I'm thinking, right? Is that they're digging for something. Ooh, Iroh's blessing. Which battlefield deals four damage to target creature planes or component controls. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good. Yeah, Iros' blessing is uh it's 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 pretty okay. Mm-hmm. Ouch. Ouch. And then we got another Underworld Rage Hound to deal with. Okay. So, we no longer outpace them. Yeah, we're going to untap that. And then we can... Um, attack. Okay. Um, before they attack step, I'm going to tap down this Underworld Rage Hound. They can still deal 6 damage to me, so I go to 5. Unless we draw something really strong, we can't outpace them. So, that's good. It's really good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be completely honest. That's bad. I don't think I win this game. Not anymore. I made that. I made a couple, like one mistake, one big mistake. Um, decline. Yeah, sweet. That's game over. We lose. We had him on the run. Made a couple minor mistakes. Yeah, we're just, we're done. I'll go ahead and concede. Speed this bad boy up. Alright, loss number one. Not the worst thing. The deck performed okay. Uh, we didn't draw most of, like, we didn't really draw that many powerful cards. Um, we, which we have in the deck. We have some decently powerful cards. Um, like, we only drew one Arena Trickster and it was late. We didn't really get the payoff from that. We didn't draw Thrix or Witness of Tomorrow's or Califay. Okay, we did draw Decent Removal that game, which we can't count on. Um every game let's see let's see how this goes baby brine we are playing against brine do, 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 do. not bad okay we'll keep um bad lands but that's fine we do get stinging lionfish which is we always love that okay that's a bummer if we draw caliphate or thrix we can't play it that just stinks. Ooh, nice. Um, a little scared they have something to flash in here. Thrinity Singer. Okay. <laughs> Devotion is one, so it goes to one. Uh, we can't kill it, unfortunately. Um, 
I'll resolve that. I'm assuming they block it. Yeah, I'll go to blockers, and then I can chain to memory to scry here, which is good. Deny the divine is good. I mean, I want another blue mana source, but also like I don't. We need we need gas, so I'm gonna bottom the island and take the counter spell. Hmm. Caliphae. That's uh, scary. Okay. Um, we could just Ichthyomorphous. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. Yeah, we have the mana for it. Loses all abilities, and then we attack. No block. That's cool. That's cool. So essentially, this is. She's a nothing now. She does nothing. Um. Ooh, so they're doing similar similar to me, except they're doing it Azorius. Um, that's fine. Okay, great. Let's just show this. No attacks, because it will die. Ooh, Omen of the Sea. I wish I could draw one of those right now. See if you can hear this neck pop. Mm, that was pretty quiet. Mm. Okay. Oh my lord, that's terrible. Um, that's really bad. Okay, well we'll go ahead and play Metamized Prophecy. Scry two, Trinity Singer, and both of those are great. Um. I think we want Arena Trickster first. And no tax. So I'm assuming they're going to pay, because they put a plus one, plus one counter on this, and create a token, which is... So, Nidir Kraken is a, a bomb in limited. This is so good. Um, yeah, if you can just like proc this a little bit, uh, you win the game. And I mean they can yeah, they can do this over and over again. Like spend one mana every turn. She Um choose a card name. I will choose Threnody Singer because next turn Boom boom boom. That means we can still play uh Starlet Mantle next turn. <laughs> No attacks. This could be quite important, actually. Um, if they attack with something that's not a flyer right here, like Nadir Kraken, for instance, we could potentially block it with Arena Trickster. Uh, but we really need removal. Gives it hex proof. So we will do that. We'll tap Threnody Singer. Uh, this may get countered, uh, which is would be a huge bummer. Yeah, we'll tap Threnody Singer. We don't need to tap Nidir Kraken. Okay, great. It's a 5-5 now with Hexproof this turn. What we have to watch out for is, so if they attack with, okay, they, no, we're good, we're good. Nice price. So, unfortunately, okay, we did get an island. That's actually really wonderful. We 
can just give you minus whatever. Do that. And then I'm going to attack with Arena Trickster. Because we can do some shenanigans with Stinging Lionfish. Next turn. Okay, they take the damage. Great. I was expecting them to block with a Tentacle. I'm kind of, I would like if they bounced Ichthyomorphosis because I can, then I can put it on Deer Kraken and stop it from doing stuff. So. Oh, they're just ex exiling that. That's, that's terrifying. Um, nice. <laughs> Yikes. We also, they're not casting a spell that I can counter, so I can't really do crap against this. I will block there. They may be baiting me into something with this, but losing Threnody Singer is not the worst thing in the world. So we'll just block there and take 12 damage. Jeez. 12, is, that's a lot of damage. Okay, you know what? We're going to block her. And yeah, we're going to double block her. And then block there. They may flash in something that's going to make me really sad. Um, but if they do, we can actually... Uh, wouldn't be that bad. If they have uh, Indomitable Will, which is, I think is what they have. Starlet Mantle. We counter that bad boy. They concede, baby. Let's go. Uh, I'm not sure why they conceded, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> Pretty sure they, could, they still would have won that game, but I'll take it. I will take it. It's fine with me. All right, first win of the day. Let's keep keep it going, ladies and gents. Keeping it going, El Vagabundo. Oh ho ho. Okay, two. Not bad. Um, we'll keep. We only have two two lands here, but we actually have things that we can do. We can play Threnody Singer. Um, so we have some shenanigans. There's Thrix. Uh, hopefully we can draw some lands. We'll pass. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just go. We'll go ahead and play Threnody Singer. That's fine. Uh, we get a threat down. Ugh. Okay, well, we'll go to combat now. Yes, we do our one damage. Heck yeah. And we have no land, so we pass. And now we, we just need to draw some, some lands. Then we'll be alright. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Illyrios is actually quite strong. Um. No. So we're finally drawing stuff that I want, but I... Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, we'll attack. Um, because I'm not gonna block at this point. I'm not gonna block the reflection. I guess I could have though. I could have flashed in Starlet Mantle to block the reflection. Hmm. Okay. Looks like they're. They've got some counter spells or something. This is really annoying, not drawing lands like this. I keep a two land hand, and of course I never I never draw lands when I keep a two land hand. Like, I have a very high chance of, of drawing lands right now. Like, I think over 50%. Vex and Gull. So, so far I've, I've played pretty much like, yeah, this is two flash decks in a row. Um, but both of the ones I've played against have been, uh, blue white instead of blue red thank you thank you thank you thank you okay now let's go to combat i'm expecting them to flash something else in in turn perhaps we have a fateful end which is great Ooh. 
Don't have a counter spell for that. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> we don't really like tokens. Hmm. 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 Yeah, we'll go to attackers. I can actually do some shenanigans here. So we'll go flash in Vexing Gull. I will untap Threnody Singer. And then I will block their tokens. We take, we still take five damage though. That's a lot of damage. Five damage is a lot. Um, but the problem is if we block the reflection, it still doesn't deal with the issue because we they can just then untap Illyrios and attack with it. So I think we block the tokens, keep stuff on the board for us. Um, ooh. Ooh. Oh my lord. Jeez Louise. I mean, they almost could have killed me with that though. <laughs> okay. How do we do this? How do we not die? I'll go... We have to make some sacrifices. So I'm going to go Nia to the Hidden Caves. The hidden Coves, I mean. Um, we're going to have to block the Reflection. Got to do some, some risky business here. We're in a very precarious position. Very precarious. That's so good. Why is their deck so good? That's horrible. Horrible! And of course we can't, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we're dead. I concede. Of course, they have Elspeth Conquer's death, huh? Right when they needed it. And we had no lands all game. Well, okay, that's two losses already. It's not great. It's not great. Uh, let's see if we can get at least one more win. Come on. At least one more win before we go down the toilet. I mean, I feel like... As I said, I'm not that experienced with Theros Beyond Death. And I'm also not a great drafter. But I feel like this deck is decent, right? Like... We have a decent synergy. Um, <laughs> that's a bad hand. Um, we're mulligan this. Okay, we can actually keep this. Um, dang, I want to keep all of these cards. They're all good. Shoot. Um, I actually think... I actually think I cut Calife out. All right, we have to get rid of something. Ichthyomorphous is good removal. Mischievous Chimera is great. Um, Omen of the Sea is also great. Uh, Metamorphous Prophecy will also fix our draws to make sure we get lands and etc. Um, hmm. But I think maybe we actually. So we'll keep six. I'm actually going to cut Ichthyomorphosis. I think Calife is a just a better aggressive option than keeping around the removal. That's like not even completely removal. It's like. It's blues kind of removal. Oh, interesting. Okay. I will... Yeah, I'll pass. If they attack with the stator, I'll just... I'll flash in and block. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, this doesn't have flash. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, um, I messed that up. This is flying, not flash, and it is a payoff for flash stuff. Great. Um, I'm bad. I'm bad at the game. That's fine. We'll bottom one of those, keep an island on top. Yeah, that's that was good. That was really good. Best thing I ever did do. So, Calife. Which is actually quite solid right now, and going to get better. So, uh... Mistakes were made, but, you know, we come back from that. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, you control the test description is plus one plus one. So I'm expecting an enchantment here. Um, and then they attack with Satesh and Skirmisher. Mm. 
Ooh. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna block. This seems like a trick. So, I will not block. Hmm. Ooh. We'll go ahead and do um, this. We'll power up Caliphate where they probably feel like they need to block it. So we'll go Metamize Prophecy. Both of those are good. I think I... I think I keep that on top. Yeah, keep both of them on top. And then I attack with you. Kind of assuming they block here. No, they take five. All right, that's fine. It's fine with me. Maybe I should have bottomed the Vexing Gull, though. Um... Hmm. Ooh, it's a test of training. That's unfortunate. So they can do a lot of damage to me right, right now. What is that four, seven? I go to nine. Yikes. They are stuck on three mana, and I think I can I think I outpace them. So we go no blocks. <laughs> what are they gonna do with one red mana? Yeah, can't do nothing. Um, we'll choose Stinging Lionfish. Yeah, and then we'll go to combat and go crazy. So we deal 7 damage to them too. So we take them to 9 as well. And if they, yeah, I'm pretty sure we win like next turn. Um, if I play Vexing Gull, they take a damage from Mischievous Chimera. We'll see if they attack, how they attack here. Um, they've got two, four, six, and if they play an enchantment, that'll be seven. Um, go to attackers. I'm a little scared. I don't know if do they have combat tricks. What do they? What will they have? So they have six damage. If they have a spell where they sacrifice and deal three, if they have, uh, I don't remember what that spell is called, but I have it in here. Uh, Fateful end, something like that. This is a bit scary, for sure. Um, yeah, they've got to know, yeah, I, I think I have to block because they, they're going all in here. We'll keep the Vexing Gull on top. They're going all in, which makes me think they have a way to kill me this turn. Um, which makes me think I need to block the Satessan Skirmisher. Infuriate, 7 damage. Okay. Please don't- oh my god, they have another one. Are you kidding me? Well, sick. Oh, <laughs> dang it. That was so bad. The aggro, man. The aggro. We almost had them too. Like, we were one turn away from winning. Um, that feels pretty bad. One win, three losses is pretty terrible. Maybe I'm bad at this. Um... Looks like it. Well, that was fun. Let's uh, open these packs. So you get at least, uh, if you stuck around to the end of the video, you get some form of vicarious satisfaction from watching me open these packs, maybe. Ooh, Elspeth Conquers Death is actually pretty good. Elspeth Conquers Death. I like that. I like that little rhyme. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be said, but... Treacherous Blessing is a very interesting enchantment card. Um, I've seen it kind of work okay um, as you sacrifice it and whatnot. Okay. Uh, Nessian Boar. All creatures able to block Nessian Boar do so. Yikes. It's uh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, well, that's it for this video. This is a pretty bad, pretty bad draft. Uh, if you have suggestions for how to be better at draft, uh, put them in the comments below. I, I felt like that was actually pretty okay for the most part. Um, but we, well, it, just, it kind of turned out really poorly. Um, maybe I just I over overestimated the power of the flash payoffs that I had. Uh, it kind of didn't turn out great. Um, it was a little bit slow to get there, so uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I just went for the wrong strategy and I thought it was going to be better. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it despite me losing a bunch of games. It was um, 
somewhat fun to make. Uh, so anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. It has been fun. Uh, peace out. Again, peace. There we go.